Yo, hey there folks. Alright, so um, it's been a few weeks since I've done a video. So uh, this time I'm going to do one, but it's going to be pretty much just uh, showcasing the recent horror movie related stuff I got. Which includes my Blu-rays, which is a small collection because I just got a Blu-ray player on Christmas. But uh, so far I'm building it up and it's pretty cool. But again, it's very scarce. Alright, so I want to start off with uh, my one of my birthday presents this week that's very badass. Um, it's... Uh, Let's see, it's uh, Too Much Horror Business by Kirk Hammett of Metallica. And it's pretty much a, very, a big book. It's very nice, hardcover, full of colored uh, pic like uh, color photos everywhere in this um, book. Hold on, let me just showcase some cool stuff. Um, so you have everything from Kirk Hammett's like a collection of like Aurora Aurora um, 50s model kits, um, figurines. Um, you know, and then you have his collection of his movie posters and everything. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of cool little nifty things in here, especially for nostalgia purposes. Like you see, there's just a lot of stuff in here with a lot of old school horror. Everything from posters, toys, figurines, model kits, all of it. Anyway, so Bass book, I highly recommend it. If you're into all those books, nonfiction books about the horror genre or collections and stuff like that, worth it. This baby is worth it. All right. So now, um, I'm just going to kind of show off some of my uh, Blu-rays I got. Okay, And uh, to start off. Um, the first one will show, uh, I own this movie on every other format, either it be VHS, DVD, whatever. However, uh, one of my uh, friends on Facebook, Joshua Dean, sent me this, and it's uh, John Carpenter's Halloween, which looks fucking absolutely amazing on Blu-ray in high def. It's awesome. Love it. All right. Um, the next one is, is actually another uh, birthday present of mine from this past week, and it's a fucking awesome package for the for the Blu-ray. It's all one of my all-time favorite Italian horror films, and that is um, City of the Living Dead by Lucio Fulci. And let me just showcase some of the stuff. So, as a lot of people know, uh, Arrow Film that puts out all these re-releases of Italian horror and other horror movies, they pack their packages up with tons of cool shit. So I'm going to uh, kind of showcase that, all right? So here's the uh, alternate cover, you know, and the one made for uh, the Blu-ray. But um, you get, like, um, these postcard, lobby card things. And then you get like a booklet. Let's see. All right. And then you also get a fucking cool ass um, poster, which I already have the poster on my walls, no doubt. But uh, it's really cool to see just an, an extra one. And here's the poster for it. The Gates of as advertised when it was called the Gates of Hell. And here's the other alternate poster. Alright. Okay, next up. Okay, uh, this is um I actually got this a year ago before I had a Blu-ray player, but it was the only way I could get the DVD from it from the combo pack, but it's a really cool uh, early 80s campus slasher film that said it got a bit of a mean streak. And that is uh, the dorm that drip blood. Okay, and this is with all its intact gore and everything, so it's fucking awesome. Okay, the next one is one of my all-time favorite 80s horror films, and that is Night of the Creeps. Alright, fucking badass hybrid movie from the 80s. Everything ranging from the 1950s sci-fi Adam H horror movies to slasher movies to... Um, um, zombies, like, it's got it all. It's fucking awesome. Okay, next one is an uh, awesome pickup I recently got, which is the double bill of TerraVision, and especially the video Dead. Awesome Blu-ray. It just came out. Highly recommend it. If you're into, like, all those USA Up All Night kind of movies. 
All right. The next movie is one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. Great slasher film. It was made in 2006. And that is All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. Finally got this foreign uh, Blu-ray to play on my player. I fucking love it. And it's an awesome, awesome high def. All right. The next one is an awesome one that I recently saw and I loved, and that's Attack the Block. Great movie, um, set in London. Um, it's very much like a, if, if you are a fan of the 80s Steven Spielberg, Richard Donner thing, you know, the whole emblem entertainment, like such as Goonies and stuff, you'll fucking love this movie. All right. It's like the, like, it's like thuggish, ghouly. It's like, it's like a mixed bag of, um, ah, never mind. Anyway, so the next one is, uh, Silent Hill Revelation. And now, while this movie I had been looking forward to for a long time, because I'm a big fan of the original first film from uh, 2006, I think, um, this one was entertaining, but it was pretty bad. Like, pretty bad. Um, all the way around. So, it's not as good as the first one. It's not like a serious, serious horror movie. At all. Like the first one. Okay, the next one is a movie I actually uh, finally got to see, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. A little bit overhyped. A tad bit overhyped, in fact, but it still was something cool, and that is uh, Sinister. All right. And the last of my Blu-ray collection so far is uh, another Blu-ray that came out, I believe, last week, and I fucking love this movie, and that is Hitchcock. All right. So anyway, that is my Blu-ray collection so far since... From Christmas of this past year and uh, yeah I plan on building and building and building it anyhow so those are some of the recent stuff I got hope you enjoyed comment below if you want to peace out